Hello guys, welcome to another video in this series of tutorial on Angular material with Angular. In this video, we will see how we can add icons in our Angular application using Angular material. As you know, icons are another popular or widely used UI element in any website or applications development. The best way to import or add icons in our application is using Google Fonts. Google Fonts provides varieties of icons for all different types of requirements. And there are few customization options as well in the Google Fonts website. You can customize according to your requirement and add those icons in your application. There are mainly three steps which you need to follow to add Google icons in your application. Step 1 is you need to add a API reference for mat icon module which is the module for icons in the app.module.ts file by importing it at the top. And the second step is you need to import mat icon module into imports array of app.module.ts file. And the third step is you need to use mat icon open and end tag wherever it is required in your angle components html file you can take the google fonts reference you can go to website and there are so many icons are available you can make use of those according to your requirement so let's see this one in practical and we'll perform these steps to add icons in our application for that one let me open an editor you can observe i have not added any code if you preview that one in browser, you can see there is nothing in our application as of now. As we know, the first step is we need to import mat icon module. For that one, let me go to app.module.ts file and scroll up in the import section. I will add imports mat icon module. We are done with the first step here. The second step is we need to add this mat icon module in the imports array. Let me add that one. And final step is go to HTML template, add the code mat icon. This is the placeholder for icon. Within this open and close mat icon tab, you can add icon of your choice. As I mentioned earlier, to select the icon, go to browser and go to the website fonts.google.com slash icons. In this website, if you scroll down, you can see there are a lot of icons are available which you can use as per your requirement. And as I mentioned earlier, there are few customization options available on the right side panel in this web page. You can choose fill to 0 or 1. So based on that one, your icons will get changed here. You can change the thickness of the icon as well. And if you scroll down, you can see there is another option as well by using which you can change the size of the icon based on your requirement. Once you choose the options here, let's click on one icon. As soon as you click on the icon, details about that icon will be shown on the right side of the page in which different embedding options are shown. Scroll down and you can observe there is a section by name inserting the icon. Here you can see the name of the icon that is added in between the span classes that is logout. Just copy that text and go back to your editor. Within open and close tag of mat icon which you have added now, paste that one. Now save the file and go back to the browser. Now you can see an icon has been added into your web page. So these are the simple steps which you need to follow to add an icon from Google Fonts into your Angular application by making use of Angular material. That's it guys for this video. Thanks for watching this. If you like this video, please click on like button, share it with others and subscribe to my channel.